Hello. In this video, we'll see how to create an API using FastAPI framework. So we'll start by installing FastAPI. So I already have Python version installed by on my system. So I'll simply use pip to install FastAPI. Let's do a pip install FastAPI. Oops, so that throws an error like could not find a version that satisfies the requirement. So if you see this error, then maybe you probably you're using the wrong version of Python. If you see right now, the version of Python is 2.7. So now let's try installing it using um, Python 3 plus versions. Install fast API. So that installs. So I already have this uh, thing installed in my system, uh, fast API and all. So you'll be requiring Python 3 plus version to install FastAPI. And once you have FastAPI installed, you'll be requiring uh, UVCon. We have it installed, so I'm not going to install it again. So let's do one thing. Let's create a file called main or like uh, main or like app.py. So I'll create a file. Let's open the Visual Studio Code editor. I'll go to a folder maybe. And see users so first I'll create a file uh, app.py create a new file I'll save it let's open the file using Visual Studio I open the file open a file go to C users app.py okay Let's start by importing fast API from fast uh, API. Import fast API. Once you have imported this thing, you can create an app. Let's say my app from fast API. Once you have the fast, you have an app. Once you have created an app using fast API, you can define an endpoint using the app. Defining the protocol you get. And then specifying the endpoint. So here the endpoint is let's say get data. Get data. Now let's define the function here. Get data. This will return. Let's say an array of data here. It will be first name Roy. This will be one data, let's add one more data maybe. I'll just copy this thing. Put it here. Save it. Now let's try running this thing using UVCon. So UVCon, first you need to specify the name of the file. It's app. Colon, the app. The app here is my app. Press enter, you get an indentation error there. We don't require this, I guess. Yeah, that's the indentation error there. Let's clear it out. Run it again. There you have it running on like 800 port. So I'll just open a new browser console here. Localhost uh, 8000. It says uh, detail not found it's because we haven't defined that endpoint. Now let's uh, check the get data endpoint. That should give you the JSON data. So I hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching.